Are you getting stuck on connecting multiple boards to one single board within monday.com? Let me show you what you need to do in order to create all of these connections. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. I want to show you how you can connect multiple boards to one board. In essence, you have a high level board called your overview board, which you can see right here. And I have lower level boards. I have all of my project boards. Now project boards one through three are already connected to this overview board. And you can see by this connected board column that they're connected. Now I've recently created boards four and five because those are new projects that I have. You can see they're the exact same board and they do not have a connected board column. Now, obviously if I wanna connect project five to the overview board, I need to create a connected board column. But since I already have a connected board column on my overview board, I'm going to create the connection on the overview board and then connect boards four and five. Now, it's important to keep in mind, depending on which plan you're on within monday.com, you have a different number of connections per board. At the time of the creation of this video, on the pro plan, you can connect 20 low level boards to one high level board. So if I click on these three dots, settings, connect boards, I can see that I'm already connected to four boards. Now, like I said, I wanna add project four and project five. So I'm gonna click on connect more boards and I'm just going to search for my boards. Project five and I have project four. Now here you see I have an option for a create a two-way sync. Now what this means is the information is gonna show up on the overview board and the other board that you're connecting to. Since this column was already created, I have no way of changing it, but it happens this is what I want. So just know if you want a one-way connection, you would need to create a new column. Now I'm gonna click connect boards. So what that means now is if I click on these three dots and the settings, you can see that I'm connected to project five and four. And if I want to disconnect, I could just hit disconnect. And now if I go to board five, you can see that a new column was created and the same thing was created, on, sorry, on board four and the same thing was created on board five. Now, I want to connect this, these tasks to my project. Right now I only have one task. So I want to connect it to, let's just find project number five and I'm gonna click the plus button. Now let's just say I already started working on it. So if I go back to my overview board, I can see that I've already started working on it. So I've connected it, this task, from project number five to my overview board. Now I can also do it the other way. If I click, let's say project number four, click the plus button. Now the one thing you need to keep in mind is because I'm connected to other boards is here you have the options of which boards you want to connect to. So make sure that you are choosing the tasks in the right board. So I'm going to click project number four. And again, I'm going to add task number one. So now that task is connected. Now let's just say I want to edit this task because I've completed it. Just so you can see it on this board, you can see that this task in project number four is done while in project number five, I'm working on it. So essentially what we did is we have a high level board and we have multiple low level project boards and we've connected them with a single connected board column and we've created a two way connection. So that way they're connected. If you want to add more boards, you simply hit connect more boards and you choose which boards you want to create. This high level, low level structure is applicable for so many different verticals and workflows within monday.com that i hope this information is helpful for you hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon